News Nation dropped a video called Andrew Tate, the king of toxic masculinity. And we're gonna look at it. Before the video has even started, I've already noticed a big mistake. The word toxic masculinity is not a real thing. And I dropped a hint about this in the video about just stop oil protesters. Well, now I'm bringing it up again. The word toxic masculinity, it's fake. Because masculinity itself cannot be toxic. Traits traditionally viewed as masculine in Western society include strength, courage, independence, leadership, and assertiveness. These are not negative traits. Because of the fact that masculine traits can't possibly be negative, it is not possible for masculinity itself to be toxic. Too much strength. Is that toxic? An excessive amount of courage. Is that toxic? Independence. Is that toxic? Leadership. Is that toxic? No. Assertiveness. Is that toxic? Not really. Without assertiveness, the military would crumble. You can't find a way to make masculinity toxic. I mean, if I were to flip this and say toxic femininity, that doesn't make sense, does it? I am going to overanalyze everything that they do in this video, even the title, because that's what I do. What are his vast global audiences being subjected to? Insights like this. So a woman can't go around people and pretend it's the same as a man running around people is absolutely not the same if i a man can only cheat if he loves someone else if i have a woman who i truly love and i go out and, and i come back to her and i don't care about her and i only love my girl that's not cheating that's exercise if she even talks to a dude it's cheating because females are emotionally invested men tend to get physically invested and women get emotionally invested so it's really hard to create a sentence where this statement doesn't piss off virtually everyone but i'm gonna try to make it make sense when a man cheats on his girl with another woman kind of like a, a one night stand he tends to look at it from a physical perspective and there's a good chance that he still loves his girlfriend just as much we flip that it's more emotional because of that, if a woman were to cheat in a relationship, that could be more threatening. You gotta get really technical and phrase things very well to try and back this statement up. You can't measure cheating by how much you still love the girl after you've hooked up with someone else. It's about loyalty. As soon as you cheat, you get rid of loyalty. Because females are emotionally invested. Are we now? <laughs> I, I think this comment after the clip is kind of funny though. Women are usually more feminine than guys. I mean, in today's world, that could be... A topic of discussion but back in the day at least if you're a woman there's nothing wrong with being emotional i'd say it's in your nature and it works great in some situations i want to point something out we go to the end of this video this is what their outro is don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage if you're gonna say subscribe for more fact-driven unbiased coverage you might not want to say it just one minute after you've just given your personal and emotional opinion about a 10 second clip <laughs> i'm 15 years old from my perspective adults are supposed to be these like really wise people that you should look up to and shit but then i look at things like this and i'm like did you just stop developing your brain at 12 what are you kidding me <laughs> tate uh also has said things that are even worse than that that's not fact driven he has said that rape victims should quote bear responsibility for being raped instead of showing a clip where he says this using her own words she quotes him instead. That is not what he said. I've watched the video. The woman decides to get drunk with a guy she doesn't know, do drugs with a guy she doesn't know, then go back to his apartment without even alerting anyone where she's going. And then something bad happens to her. No one says, why did you do that? And that's what they should do. They should say, yeah, we're going to get the guy. Yeah, he's going to be punished. Yes, what he did is unacceptable. Just like people robbing me is unacceptable. Stealing is unacceptable. We all agree on that point. The point I'm trying to say is that if I have a woman I care about, whether it's my daughter or whether it's a friend, whoever it is, I say you must protect yourself because there's evil people in the world. I'm not an idealist. I'm a realist. And he's described in graphic detail how he would attack a girlfriend if she merely accused him of cheating. He did not say that he would attack his girl for merely accusing him. The situation was if she were to pick up his self-defense machete from the nightstand and threaten to kill him with it, that he would defend himself. He said it in a way that made it offensive because that's what he does. He said like bang out the machete, boom in her face or something like that. And that's obviously like a, bro, what the fuck? Come on, you could have phrased that a little bit better. But the details of the situation are still in his favor. So too bad, buddy, but all I've heard is lies. And then there's Hustlers University, Tate's online get rich quick program with an estimated 127,000 members, some of them as young as 13, who pay him almost $50 a month. And for what? The garbage that he spews, of course. The garbage that he spews, fact driven, unbiased coverage, 
She has no opinion about this, huh? But mostly to be taught how to recruit other members on commission, a.k.a. pyramid scheme. Affiliate marketing is not a pyramid scheme and it's completely legal. Of course, Tate has his detractors, many of whom want TikTok to follow its own established rules against hate speech and misogynistic content and kick him off the platform. Losing oxygen, huh? Hey, man, calm down. You're getting a little bit pissed off. Breathe. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage. Hey guys, everything I said was a lie. Toxic masculinity is real. And feminism is the most important subject of 2023. Let's go, bitches.